everyone, we're going to find P sub K plus 1 for every given piece of K. And basically what we're doing is um, everywhere there's a K, you're just going to put K plus 1. So this is going to be um, 5, and we have two Ks here, so I'm going to put K plus 1 here. And for this K, I'm going to put K plus 1. Then we have the other plus 1. So that's going to be 5 over K plus 1 times K plus 2. And remember, what we're doing is we're just finding, um, talking about the current term, and this is the next term. So when we have this one, and we're going to do P of K plus 1, you're just going to do 1 over 2 times K plus 3, because K plus 3 would be the next term. Again, if you want to write, uh, write it out, that would be 2 times K plus 1. That's for this piece, plus 2. And there's where you get the 3. And the next one, um, this one's just going to be P sub K plus 1. Everywhere there's a K, just put K plus 1. And this K, we know inside here, this is just going to be K plus 2, because that's the next term, all over 4. And the next one, um, and we're going to talk about this in the next slide. So P sub K plus 1 equals K plus 1 over 3. And then this is going to be 2 times K plus 1 plus 1. I kind of raised that too high. So this would be K plus 1 over 3 times 2K plus 2 plus 1, which equals K plus 1 over 3 times 2K plus 3. Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut. All you had to do with this term here, um, this is linear, and this is your slope, is add 2 to the 1, because your, your finite differences is 2. So you would have written this as k plus, um, if I did it this way, let me do this one in red, so I'm coming down here, I would have written p sub k plus 1 equals k plus 1 over 3. I would have written my 2k. Then I'm going to add the 2 to the 1 and get plus 3, which is what we have. So when you run into mathematical induction, you're going to have to be adding next terms to these. So what is the next term to that? You can either do it one or two ways. You can, um, everywhere there's a k, put k plus 1. And that's going to give you 2k plus 2. Or you can notice that our finite difference here is 2. So you're just going to take this, this current term, piece of k, and add your finite difference to it, this number here. So let's try it on this one. Oh, we, we're supposed to do this side too. And so, of course, this side would be k plus 1, and this would be k plus 2. All right, and for this one, let's look at these two. If I just add 4 to this number, you're going to get 4k plus 3. That would be your next term. This is p sub k, and this would be p sub k plus 1. Now, if you wanted to do it the long way, that would be 4 times k plus 1 minus 1, which would be 4k plus 4 minus uh, 4 minus 1, which gives you 4k plus 3. So do you see how it's easier if you just add your finite differences to your uh, your constant there? And then this side would be k plus 1. And all I'm going to do is add 2 to the 1, so that's going to be 2k plus 3. It makes it a lot faster than trying to always constantly do um, this thing here. Okay, the next one is this one, so I'm going to do it the shorthand way. My next term, this would be piece of K, 
So my piece of K plus 1 is just going to equal 5K, and I'm going to add 5, because my finite difference is 5, or you could just look at that number, that's a 5. And you add 5 to negative 3, and that's going to be plus 2. And for this side, you would have K plus 1 over 2, and over here, this would be 5K, and I add 5 to that, you get plus 4. And for your uh, arithmetic ones, let's see, I mean your geometric ones, just know that your next term, if this is piece of K, this would be 2 to the K plus 1. That's your next term. And you also need to know that this equals 2 times 2 to the k. Okay? So if I had uh, 2 to the k plus 2, we could rewrite that as 2 times 2 times 2 to the k. Because we have an extra two twos here, which could be written as 4 times 2 to the k. Also, for this one, if this is your piece of k, Whoops, sorry, it's minus. Remember, this kind of means your previous term. Then your k plus 1 would be 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1, which equals 2 to the k. So, okay, that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.